Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so I got that itch for Jewel and uh, yeah, so it's time to start construction of the interplanetary ship. This will be known as the Jewel 14. Uh, yeah, there, there won't be a Jewel 13. Uh, yeah, just, you know. Um, you guys really know what the number is. So, anyways. Yeah, so this isn't, you know, I mean, this ship right here, uh, is going to be the biggest thing I ever constructed in the game. Uh, not exactly this piece here, but, you know, this is going to be multi-launches. So, for those of you who, who have just, you know, all you new people, this is not going to be, uh, just this one launch here to get to Jewel. So, this is going to be probably somewhere around six launches. I have a few things planned, and uh, we're going to be going somewhere. That's all I can say. We are definitely going to be going somewhere. Excuse me. Uh, wow. So, I have definitely um, spent a lot of time constructing this ship. There was a lot of things I had to take into account. Um, I ended up basically testing out a lot of things, a lot of new things, and seeing how things are going to go from there. I mean, basically, uh, this front of the ship here is somewhat stable and that is saying a lot I mean it is a little bit unstable for certain in certain ways it's a little bit unstable but it's not that bad um, you know once the ship is fully constructed it's not really going to matter so much um, up until like maybe the end uh, you know the end of the mission and stuff then it will start actually having a little bit of effect on the ship and that is a possibility, but I am just definitely blown away by this thing right now as it is. Um, a lot of the time and effort and things that I've put into this thing really are starting to pay off already. Uh, a lot of testing. I have not built a, sh built a ship this big in a very, very, very long time. So that is kind of the main question as to whether it even can be done. So that is going to be, you know, for a later episode, probably the one where we actually fly the thing. So that that is kind of how that's going to go for now. So let's see. What's all right? We we need to get up a little bit higher here. Just a, just a tidbit. We need to get up to about 70. I'm just going to... I'm going to be building this thing very, very insanely close to the Kerbin... Uh, like, basically, low Kerbin orbit. As low as it can possibly get. Just to save on fuel. And a few other things. But we will be uh, basically ferrying this thing out and then having to refuel it again. So, th it's gonna be a very very long process um, it, just to give you an idea on how much battery this thing is going to have once once it's complete um, it's going to be somewhere in the 120,000 range uh, I don't plan on bringing a I, I don't want to give too much information away about this thing because it is just it is going to be pretty freaking massive that's all I can say so definitely uh, if you're interested uh, the next probably four or five episodes are going to be construction and building of this thing and launching of all the parts for it so definitely that's what I what I mean if you are definitely interested definitely tune in because there will definitely be more so yeah, this is going to be the command portion of the craft. There will be multiple different things that this thing is going to be used for. Uh, you know, some of them I would rather not explain right now, but I mean, you can kind of get the gist of what's going on up front. So that that is all I can say. All right, so we need to nose up a little bit. Uh, definitely not looking good. 
but I can give you a brief mission outline on what I'm looking for, or at least what I'm trying to do. I want to send a crew to Jewel, visit at least three moons, and go back home. And also have a few different things. Um, one of them being a not a space plane because I, I refuse to call it a space plane because it will it, the only time it will be in space is in transit. The the minute that it actually touches down, it will not be a space plane anymore. And you guys can get the idea of where I'm going with that. Is basically we will be going to lathe. Uh, hopefully, lathe. I I don't want to give your hopes up. Get, well, get your hopes up just yet because I am still unsure about the entire mission and just about everything. So that that is kind of the way I want to stick with it for at least right now. At least all the things I have planned, I hope they happen, but there's a good chance that they might not. And this entire mission might end up being a failure, at least as far as maybe visiting the moons are concerned. But... I want to return the ship itself, the main structure of the ship. Um, you know, this this is going to be gone, this will be gone, uh, the plane will be gone, and maybe a few other things will be gone out of, um, off of the structure itself. But um, I want the main part of the ship to still be intact for uh, in transit back to Kerbin. So, kind of a big undertaking. We're going to be going to, or from Kerbin to Jewel and back. And I, I really, really hope that this is going to be the winner. Um, you know, you guys have, for those of you who have watched my channel for a very, very long time, you do know that there were a few of my ships that I kind of had the same plan for and uh, didn't really work out so well. Um, there was a few things that I, uh, I actually can admit now about those. Um, one of them being, at the time of launch, I wasn't experienced enough to understand how interplanetary travel works. And the second kind of major thing was sort of along the lines of... Um, just not knowing, you not testing the the craft in any kind of way to see if it would if it really will work. Now, the one thing I am really planning on, at least for now, is I plan on salvaging this module. I plan on using it and redocking it, um, and you know, basically getting a little bit of the fuel back that we used for this launch. Um, wow, I, we're just like burning in circles right now. Come on, come on. This this is a really heavy piece, and I did not empty any of the tanks on it, so that's kind of the main reason why. There we go. We're just going to bump it up, and then we can start burning outward here. There we go. We, we got our PE. We got our PE, guys. We got our PE. Our PE. Periapsis. Whatever. But... Yeah, this is going to be a very, very long mission. Uh, just construction alone is going to take a long time. And I've waited in the craft itself somewhere in the 400 part range. I think it's going to be 400, give or take. And it's going to be probably somewhere around 350 tons, if not more. I, I think the Jewel tanker is actually, or I mean the Kerbin tanker, uh, I don't know if I can select, no I can't. Yeah, you can see just this first piece here, um, well I, if I took this off it wouldn't be 87 tons, but you get the idea. And even on this first piece here we got 16,000 battery. Um, yeah, so you can just kind of get the idea. That's all I can say. You can get the idea of what's what's going down here. Now, yeah. The, the, see, now, I don't want to get too much into explaining. I launched a full crew. I will show you some of the things. We do have a 
main um, cockpit kind of thing, if you want to call this the cockpit, it's up to you. I put two of them, sort of, because I like the idea of having two. So, whoa, hey, there we go. Uh, no, no, no. Sid, where's Sid? Sid, where are you, Sid? Did I re oh, yeah, there you are. Um, IVA, there we go. So this would be kind of like the main cockpit here. There are no lights on this thing. I did not put lights on it because I do not want to put in the parts. Uh, the, the parts alone will... It, no, just no. So let's see. Let's do... Um, oh, let's time warp. Um, yeah, there we go. So this is the main Coppola module that is on the front. Oh my god. The main Coppola module is up here, as you can see there, um, and then I do have a basic, you know, um, hitchhiker storage hab module, whatever you want to call it. I usually call them habs, and I put this on here because I want to see out the windows. That That's the only reason why I put this on here. There, there was really no other purpose. Um, I, I could have just launched with full... Um, you know, just with the full module here and, you know, this one and the Coppola module and I would have called it, you know, I could have called it a day, but I don't want, I didn't want to do that. Oh, we do got a little bit of light here just from this one little piece right here. That That's the only light we got. So, anyways, guys, um, you know, I know this isn't going to be the longest episode and the next, the following episodes aren't going to be the longest ones because it's basically going to be launches for this but trust me guys when I say this this is going to be amazing so anyways guys thank you for watching if you like what you see here subscribe there's always more to come to all you new people welcome and uh, yeah I will see you next time